Hey folks, this is Lex here from Board at Work, and recently Apple has just announced the Yosemite update. Now this is announced pretty much about two months ago uh, at WWDC, and the rave was pretty much unifying iOS and macOS. And now the alpha or beta was actually available for the general public if you signed up, and the update was available I think two days ago, and I'm just installing it on my Mac now. And as you can see here, this is the beginning of the installation process. Uh, so this is pretty much the beginning setup. You go to your email, you go to the link that's provided for you for the actual update, and then it begins to install on your Mac. Uh, now the process is fairly long, folks, so I won't be showing you the whole process. Uh, but this is the first stages, and this is the beginning of it installing. And we're just going to cut to a different video to see how uh, the next step goes once you're installing it. This should be the next screen that you see after the Apple logo. Uh, I'm showing these uh, sections and portions of the installation process just so you know that everything's going well and good as this is a beta version of the final copy of Yosemite and it's good to know if things are going according to plan because they do advise that you do not install this version of Yosemite on your main uh, desktop because it, it may brick it or it may cause malfunctions that you can't really use on a day-to-day -day basis. So just confirmation this is the next step and using Yosemite on your Mac. No, folks, this isn't deja vu. This will be the second Apple screen that you see for the installation process. Don't think that you revert it back or anything's going wrong. This is the next Apple logo that appears, and then you're on your way to installing Yosemite uh, Beta in full. This is yet another screen that you'll see after the second uh, Apple logo. Now, this is, the, I believe, the fourth in the sequence, but for some odd reason, I'll put three, so disregard that. This is another screen in the installation process, and this is the one before you actually have it installed on your device. After an eternity, the actual sign-in is now on the actual Mac. This is pretty much going to be your, your first steps in using Yosemite, the beta. And all you have to do from this point on is, oh, I already have your iCloud connected to the beta version because you do get a redemption code in your email. And all you have to do is put in your password, and you're on your way to actually using Yosemite. So as you can see here, I'm inputting it in my sign-in login thing. And you can actually activate the Find My Mac feature, which I'm not doing from now on. Uh, I will do that later. So now that's all good. It is loading. You go through the usual terms and conditions, and we obviously don't read that stuff, so we're just going to click Next. And you can also connect your iCloud drive from the initial installation, which I'm also not doing. So setting up my Mac. I must say the installation UI is very nice and appealing. It's very reminiscent of iOS. And boom, you're pretty much blown away with all these different boxes and, and pop-ups. And you're just going to exit out of those if you, if you uh, have this happening to you, like it is for me. Just adjusting my camera right now so you guys can get a better uh, vantage point of what's going on. Exiting out. Exit out of that. Uh, that. Now, there is something that you'll see called Feedback Assistant. Now, I didn't want to go through that initially. This is just the initial hands-on of the installation process and general uh, changes of the UI and uh, a user interface uh, for, um, that was the same thing, UI user interface. That was dumb. But overall, this is pretty much just a, a rundown of all that stuff. So checking out some of the app trays at the bottom. As you can see, everything is translucent. I really do like the new uh, app tray or app trays. Uh, as you'll see later on in this. And that is the new Spotlight feature as well. Uh, I do like how it's kind of just put there. It's very similar to Bing, uh, if you guys do use that search engine. And the usual menus that you have at the top are just the same, nothing too crazy. Going into Safari, you do see the changes that are very similar to the browser on the iPhone. A very light white background. Uh, applications are very flat, um, very colorful as well. Uh, icons have changed a bit, uh, but overall nothing too crazy. That is the new, uh, I guess, uh, tabs for uh, your open uh, browsers inside Safari. As you can see there, the translucent effect is, is reminiscent here as well. Uh, it's, it's throughout the whole operating system. So uh, I really do like this new look. Some people have complained about it. I really have no issues with it at all. Uh, it is definitely welcome. Uh, and they're really stepping away from what Windows is doing and unifying all of their systems, where Apple is really much is co cosmetically adjusting so they're, they look very similar. Uh, iTunes hasn't changed much. Uh, iTunes 11 looks pretty much the same on any computer. As you can see there, 
I'm going to Gaming Center just to see if some of the core apps have this new UI. And as you can see, the colors for Xing out and minimizing and maximizing your, your tab that's open have changed a bit. I do like this addition. It's, it's very uh, informational. Sometimes people had no idea what those buttons used to do. Um, general UI is very nice. You can see as I move the, the tab open around, it does go behind the app tray. You can see it as well. Uh, so apps behind apps and being able to see that is very, very new for Yosemite. And that is the new notification center, which is very similar to the notification bar on iPhone. Uh, as you can see there, as it's loading up, you get your location, you get the basic stocks, and I guess your agenda for that day, depending on your calendar that's set up. And you can adjust those, you can edit those. Uh, those are the only ones available now that will obviously expand with third-party developer uh, engagement and uh, just in general as it gets closer to final version. Uh, I do like it. It's very nice and I really do love the cosmetics of this new UI. Um, I don't want to sound like a fanboy here. I do love Android, and I also do use the iPhone. But uh, from, a, from a UI standpoint, it's, it's looking much better than uh, Windows 8 in terms of just looks. Uh, like I said, again, iTunes really hasn't changed anything. Uh, going to the books, I haven't set this up, so I doubt that I'm going to go through this. But just to show you how it looks, most of the core apps have changed uh, look wise and that's really good to see and for a beta usually it wouldn't be all the core apps but apple has done good here going into the finder as you can see the this has also changed a bit going through all your stuff i'm not gonna let you guys see all of my core things but just a gist of uh, how things look uh in the new finder exit out of that Going to Wi-Fi, going to uh, all the other settings at the top, really nothing has changed, just to look. Uh, functionality is something that I was really looking forward to. Uh, having the new features of being able to answer your iPhone or your Mac and vice versa, um, those features are not present on this beta, and uh, really you guys really shouldn't expect that. That's pretty much going to happen, especially with the first version. Uh, but that is coming later on down the road, and once that happens, we will give you a full video tutorial of that process. A uh, calendar is what's been the really big change for me, and it's something that I would definitely use on the new desktop. As you can see there, you have all your different views. Uh, and the actual transitions are very similar to the iPhone as well. Everything's very seamless. Now, this is a three-year-old Mac. Uh, it isn't the latest with the, and greatest with the Intel processor, but it gets the job done. Uh, and that's good to see that uh, ubiquitous experience across all the Macs, uh, at least recently, uh, do seem to work very uh, similarly, if not the same. Because uh, Mac OS at its core is really optimized very well, very secure, and really doesn't have the same issues that Windows computers have been known for. As you can see, moving it around, there are no limits, and it does go behind that translucent app bar again. Uh, but what I'm actually going to do is show you a bug that I found. So I clicked log out, and we're just going to sit and wait, and wait until the actual uh, operating system allows me to log out, which isn't happening right now. Uh, I'm going to cut this short, but it goes on for about a good two to three minutes where pressing log out does not log out. Now, this is present features that are on my current, or, or I guess, uh, what was it, Mountain Lion and... Um, Snow Leopard and all those versions. I've had similar issues, and I don't know what that's all about. Maybe it's something to do with the core uh, components of the UI, but I'm still waiting to have this log out. So we're just going to cut the video here and see whether or not it, the actual Mac allows me to get to my user profile screen. After about five minutes, I finally got the logout screen here, and as you can see, there is a blur effect. I just wanted you guys to see it after uh, it takes quite some time for it to appear. But that pretty much is going to sum up our review of Yosemite Beta. Be sure to subscribe to our channel if you guys haven't already to continue to see great content from us. And remember to always enjoy your entertainment.